Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Dynasty, and yes, we are back at it again today on this fine throwback Thursday, playing some MK Armageddon using our boy, Curtis Stryker, a.k.a. John Cena, if you will. It seems like over the past four to five weeks, there's been, like, this rise in his stock for, like, the combat pack, too. Every day, I keep getting asked, like, hey, Dynasty, do you think Stryker has a chance to be a DLC character? And honestly... There's definitely a chance, especially after we discovered in the PC version of Mortal Kombat 11, there's like these random cutscene files for not only Striker but Takeda. So that's kind of where I think a lot of this, you know, a lot of this hype is stemmed from. For some reason, there's like these random cutscene files just sitting in the PC version of the game that got added alongside Spawn's DLC character. So who knows exactly what's going on, what that is, what that means, but. For what it's worth, he was number 13 out of like 45 characters in my DLC character voting poll, so yeah. Seems like Striker is finally getting a bit of love, which is cool to see because honestly, I've always been a fan and uh, I've gotten some flack for that <laughs> previously, so. Here we go though, playing against our boy Bobo. Doing some combos here, some strings. In this game, they did give him the nightsticks as his weapon of choice. I'll show you guys his grab right here, it's pretty funny. He just punches you not once, not twice. Three different times. Bobo has no match for the punches. Here goes our first attempt here at an ultimate. Will Dynasty drop the combo? Probably. Woo! That was extremely intense. I think we barely got that one out. But yes, ultimate fatality achievement unlocked. There you go, there you have it. In this game, he has a few pretty decent special moves. They gave him a move where he tosses his grenades, a low and a high. They gave him a full-blown SMG in this game, not just a pistol, but an actual, like, SMG SMG, just like Jax's, Oh yeah. They gave him the oh yeah. Pretty, pretty neat. It's called the Gun Blast. And then lastly, they gave him the Gun Stun. Which I think is kind of cool. This move is apparently going to be in Mortal Kombat 9, but it didn't make the final cuts. It got scrapped before the game launched, which is kind of a bummer because in that game, they gave him a bunch of weird grabs. I think it was called, like, the Roll Toss or some shit like that. It was really lame, honestly. I feel like the Taser <clears throat> would have been a bit cooler, in my personal opinion. That's just me, but yes. Uh, that's pretty much how he fights in this game. Pretty decent character, honestly. Not too uh, OP, but still really fun to use. I do think the skin he has in this game is the best he's ever looked. I stand by that. I did not like the Mortal Kombat 3 fanny pack look. I kind of like the Mortal Kombat 9 cop look. But this look, I feel like, just really makes him look like he's a badass. This is some, like, special agent, you know, uh, leather everywhere. It just This guy looks like he's special forces or something, so... Gotta love Striker. And honestly, speaking of special forces, we get all these special forces. We get Takeda and Kung Jin, all the combat kids, Cassie, Jackie, Sonya, Jax... Hell, I'll throw Johnny in there. All the love for these military special forces. Why not just the policeman who got tossed into the Mortal Kombat universe by mistake? You know what I mean? Striker deserves some respect on his name. But yes, Dairu getting his ass handed to him. Here goes another attempt here at an ultimate fatality. I might miss this one. Apparently, it's a bit complicated. So here goes nothing. We got it again! Let's go, baby! They both end the same way. Interesting. But yeah, I've seen a lot of great suggestions if he was gonna be in MK11. I've seen people throw out ideas for his gameplay, like him having a canine unit. I can get behind that. Can you picture Striker just sending a, a canine at his opponent? That's so sick. It's not too crazy, too, because if you think about it, Back in Injustice 2, I'm pretty sure Harley Quinn had a ability where she had her Aina like run across the screen and like knock down her opponent. So what if we gave that to Striker? Would that not be pretty sick? I feel like that'd be really sick. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking that, but I think that'd be really cool. K9 unit, nice little German Shepherd attacking Shao Kahn. A German Shepherd attacking the Terminator. Imagine they had the Arnold saying, ouch. <laughs> that would have been great. Ugh. 
I've also seen ideas of him being, you know, maybe like a SWAT guy, having a, a riot shield. A riot shield would be really neat as well. Him doing like these crazy charges, maybe having the riot shield as like a parry move. That would be really cool. Obviously, I could see his, you know, his nightsticks baton being used as like part of his, I guess you can say, moveset, part of combo strings, where like maybe he does like a a move just like we've been doing, like one, two, and then bam, the combo ender is the, uh, the string ends with a baton hit, you know what I mean? A toss with a baton or something, so that's safe to assume. The grenades gotta come back. I don't think you're gonna give him like a full-blown pistol if he was to come back. I mean, a full-blown SMG. Probably just the pistol. I'd assume they'd want to make him not too zony and not too, like, broken like that. And like I just said, we have all these other characters in the game like Jackie and Cassie who use pistols and stuff. I don't think we need another character who's just spamming, um, you know, gunshots over and over again. So if they could just focus on things like that, a riot shield, a canine unit, some, you know, maybe some C4? Grenades? Um, why not that? He does have his taser. He uses taser as well. I know Mortal Kombat 9, he had a flashlight. Uses flashlight. There's a lot of nice little tech like that that I think they could use to make him not just feel like another, you know, spec ops character with a gun. So, that's what I would want. Some uniqueness to him. Using his whole, like, list of inventory weapons that he's had throughout, you know, Mortal Kombat 3, Armageddon, Mortal Kombat 9. It's crazy to think, though. Last time we saw this guy playable was a decade ago. Mortal Kombat 9, that dropped 2011. That was legit almost 10 years ago. Insane. Johnny, what are you doing? Stay away. Dude. Oh my goodness. I love it when the game just, they, they know all your reads and then it's like, it's such a sloppy game sometimes. It's just, look at this. It's like, they block everything but then they hit you immediately. And it's, <laughs> I love the 3D era games, don't get me wrong. It's, it's great to go back and play these, especially after playing Combat League for hours on end and being stressed, popping this thing in is like so fun. There we go, finally doing some damage. If they ever start getting your reads, just switch it up a bit and you'll be good to go. Common sense, right? But sometimes you forget. But once you do just start switching things up, they usually will just uh, start taking some damage again. So always keep that in mind. Little variety goes a long way in this game. Look at that, dude. Look at the elbows there. I'm telling you. These nightsticks alone, if he just followed nightsticks at MK11, I could get behind that, honestly. Here we go again with another ultimate fatality attempt. Here goes nothing. Jeez. That was just straight up like removing limbs left and right. That was pretty insane. That was really brutal. That was really brutal, actually. And going back on, like, his appearance, um, for, like, gear customization options, I'm assuming that you could probably swap out his baton. If he had a pistol, probably swap out his pistol. If he has his fanny pack, his fanny pack, maybe his cap, maybe his hairstyle, some sunglasses. For sure, for sure, though, the weapon of choice. So the baton, slash nightstick, the gun, definitely. Maybe the taser. Maybe if, you know, if he uses a flashlight, maybe a flashlight. So, you know, the customization options will be there. It's not going to be too hard to find, like, gear for him to use and swap between. His, uh, you know, appearance, the attire can be really easy to do, too. So they can just give him, like, your standard police, you know, uniform. They can give him, like, a uh, detective uniform. Like, if he's just an off-duty police officer or something, I don't know. Give him a full-blown SWAT outfit. Give him a full-blown military outfit. MK9 concept art for Striker had a lot of cool designs that they didn't use. They could probably go back and take advantage of that. So he could look really sick. They could give him some like super like futuristic police force. Hell, Robocop skin. They could give this guy a Robocop skin. They could. Could they not? I don't know. There's a lot they could do with Striker, dude. Just saying. It's not that he's not that limited. Oh, dude. We're going up against a bunch of great characters. Look at this. Havoc, another character I wish we could see. Make a comeback. Will it happen? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Honestly, I don't. I feel like there's always these missed opportunities, but... You think things make sense, and then, and then it doesn't happen. So, I don't know. It took 10 years to get spawned. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe Havoc will drop in another 10 years. <laughs> Dude! Oh my gosh, this is getting intense. Woo! 
Let's just do an uppercut. Let's show you guys his winning pose real fast. He does like a Johnny Cage like stance. Yeah. <laughs> just recycled Johnny Cage's stance and gave it to him. You know what's crazy too? Some trivia for you guys. Just recently talked about Dairu doing a Dairu playthrough about, I don't know, last week on Deception. Maybe it was Armageddon. No, it was Deception. Well, Dairu, of course, him being from the Order Realm, believing in nothing but law and order, he used to be the, I think it was called like the Sidon Guard, police force for the Order Realm, right? Pretty sure that in Deception's Conquest mode, you come across Striker, who is working to become a guard in the Order Realm. How crazy is that? Striker's like, yeah, I love being a cop so much. I'm about to go to the Order Realm and be the ultimate police officer and just be part of the law and order in the Order Realm. Pretty insane. So yeah, just like uh, Hotaru and Dairu, our boy Striker is trying to become a Sidon guard. Pretty interesting stuff, man. Pretty interesting stuff. Pretty cool, honestly. Oh, dude! Yeah, if that taser move could actually stun the opponent and allow you to do a combo, man, that would have been so much better, honestly. So much better. Also, I didn't know this, but, you know, Ron Perlman, OG Hellboy, actually voiced Striker back in Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm. I did not know that at all. Ron Perlman voiced Striker. How amazing is that? That is great. Did you picture Ron Perlman doing Striker in like Mortal Kombat 11 voice act? Dude, sign me up. Who needs John Cena? We can have Hellboy. Oh my goodness, Cobra is coming in hot. I always tell you guys, the battle right before the sub boss is always tough because usually it's on the stage with all the death traps, with Shao Kahn watching, and usually it's like Rain or Shinnok, and the AI is always OP as hell. Damn, dude, I got my ass destroyed by Cobra. Stage fatality and everything. This video is definitely being demonetized. <laughs> Damn! Woo! Okay, second time, we got this. Guaranteed, promise you. While we're here waiting for this to load, I want to say this video is being brought to you by the good folks over at G2A.com. They sponsored this video. Be sure to check out the link down below to purchase MK9 on Steam. Currently, it got removed off the Steam Marketplace. So in order to play it on Steam, what you got to do is go to G2A.com, buy a Steam code from their website, redeem the code on Steam, and just like that, you now have MK9 in your Steam library, even though they uh, removed the game about a month ago. So Steam, you suck. G2A, you rock. Making sure that we can still play MK9, even though Steam does not want us to. So again, link down below. Check it out for all that. Good stuff. Here we go, though. Try to concentrate here. Kind of intense. I'm kind of kind of nervous here. Oh, dude. I'm, like, dropping combos left and right. I say combos, but really, I just have, like, one string I've been doing. Let's do the nut kick. Nut kick! Woo! That was getting super duper 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 close. Oh, man. Oh, I hope I do not get thrown to, like, one of these fatalities, dude. These stage fatalities at all. Breaker, breaker, breaker. Low kick. Woo! Okay. That was fun. Jesus. He's not holding back! That was a mortal fatality. So apparently it's mortal, which means I guess mortals can do that. Regular mortals can just decapitate you with their hands. <laughs> That's insane. Gotta love 3D era Mortal Kombat. Going up against Goro. Woof! Of course, the last time we saw our boy Striker was, what, Mortal Kombat 9. He had that nice little arc in the story mode. Was a good guy until he gets killed by Sindel in that battle where she kills, like, the entire roster. We also get to see that nice little arc with him and Cabal. Cabal, his uh, fellow colleague, gets burned by, I think it was, what, Kentaro? Kentaro throws a fireball at him and gets him burned alive. And that's how we get the Cabal we've grown to love. Then MKX, he's working for Quan Chi now as a revived Revenant after, you know, Sindel kills him. Quan Chi revives him. And it's interesting because, obviously, uh... 
Quan Chi's no more. He's kind of dead. And uh, what does that mean for the likes of Striker? Is Striker just like lost as a revenant in like the Nether Realm or Outworld, just handing out just random speeding tickets as a zombie? Is that what's going on? So I want to see exactly how or and where Striker's been. If he is a DLC character, um, where where is this going? You know what I mean? Is it gonna be like, oh yeah, a trailer of just like a zombie striker? Is it gonna be like not zombie striker? Is it gonna be? <laughs> well, I guess Nightwolf was a revenant too, right? But in the trailer, I think they showcased him as a human. Huh. Interesting. Oh! We'll have both skins though, which is cool. Hopefully, anyways. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, we'd have a revenant Jack. Uh, let's say revenant Jacks, a revenant striker if he did come back. I can get behind that, 100%. You see, you got your Revenant skin for Striker, your SWAT skin, your Police skin, your Off-Duty skin. That's like four skins already. They can have like a super futuristic one. That's five. Have an army, mercenary, military one. Six. Can't be too complicated at all, man. At all. Here we go, though. Up against Blaze. This was fast, dang. Be careful, Blaze. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... I'm gonna take you to jail! I'm a side and guard now. Oh, dude. Remember, uh, the only thing I have to uh, recommend if you have to go against Blaze yourself ever is to be careful with the roly-poly moves and just keep in mind that doing the air drop kicks appear to be the best method to this whole madness here. Just for some reason, it's like the only thing that ever works. Uh, yeah. It really just comes down to just how cheap the CPU wants to be. Sometimes it's super easy, but there's days where, you know, it's just a cluster. So. <laughs> ah! Canine Striker. Give it to me. Give it to me now! Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Concentrate. Blaze, I'm gonna put these handcuffs on you and take you to the Order Realm and lock you in there forever like Shujinko. Jeez. Oh! Dude! All right, all right, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> A few moments later. It's kind of weird too, in the uh, poster for this game for Armageddon, they show off Stryker alongside the rest of the roster, and everybody's wearing the you know the costume they have in game, but Stryker is wearing his classic MK3 skin. Yet the MK3 skin is not in this game. So that's really odd. I don't know if they initially were gonna give him like an MK3 skin, but didn't or something, but yeah, in the poster for this game, he's rocking his MK3 attire. That's another thing, they can give him a classic MK3 skin with the fanny pack. That's like seven skins for Striker if he came back in MK11. There you go! Variety! It's there! K9 unit! Riot shield! Taser! Baton! Fisticuffs! Does not need a pistol! Variety! Netherrealm! German Shepherd! Sicking Shao Kahn! Sicking the Terminator! Having spawn, fight a German Shepherd! PETA may not be too happy, the animal rights people, Carol Baskin, but you know what? No animals will be killed. It'll be it'll be a move that just the dog will run across the screen, bite the opponent, and run away. That's it. That's it. No harm, no file. We'll be a hundred percent in the clear. Do it, Another Realm. I believe in you. Do it. Oh no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh, oh, <laughs> what? Why is he not getting up? He's just laying down. He's like playing possum. Guys, I think this is... It, uh, dude, it depends. Oh, man, I don't know. This is tough. Oh, dude. Uh, uh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I like how the bullets are actually hurting a guy that's just made of like molten rock and lava. <laughs> the the bullets are doing damage. That's pretty funny. 
Oh, dude, this is not looking good, man. This is not looking good. Blaze, stop it. I'm trying to just take you to the order room. Oh my goodness, dude. Jesus. Elder Gods, give me strength. <laughs> ah. Dude. <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. 2,000 years later. Got like two more quarters left. We just put them inside the arcade machine. Oh, shit. It's so much easier when they just don't hit you after you sidestep. <laughs> and when the breakers decide to work, things are just a million times easier. Look how simple that was. Look at that. You see how easy that is? I don't get this, man. I don't get this. At times, it's the easiest battle ever. And at times, it's impractical. At least you can get past it. Unlike Onaga, that takes you like 20 minutes probably. At least Blaze is not too, too shabby. Ah! Breaker, breaker, breaker! Oh yeah! Taser to the molten rock and lava! Oh, breaker, come on, breaker! Oh god. No, dude! Breakers, come on! Something! Oh my goodness. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Evil Grand Championship here. Blaze, Striker, the fate of the Earth. Right here. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh, he's being cheap now too. He's being cheap now too. <laughs> he's mad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? You see what I mean? So then if you do cheese, it works. This game, I love it. You gotta love 10-year-old game. <laughs> 13, 14-year-old games. Woo! There goes nothing. Time for the ending. I don't really remember Striker's ending too much. In Armageddon, at least. The fire of Blaze burned away Striker's previous notion of justice. The power coursing through his soul inspired him to fight injustice on his own terms. No longer would he allow himself to be confined by the law. He would strike evil from the shadows, a vigilante who would show no mercy to the corrupt. He went into seclusion to prepare for his one-man assault on the wicked. Soon all the realms will know the name Strike. I like that. I like that a lot. He becomes a vigilante. That's pretty cool. Anyways, though, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you had some fun sitting down and watching me use Striker in this playthrough. If you did, please take one second, of course, to drop a like on it. I'm very curious. Would you want to see this badass Curtis Striker in MK11? I'm very curious. Of course, the next time I've been your host in Dynasty, guys, please take care. Please stay safe. Wash those hands, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.